Sleeve gastrectomy was originally introduced as a part of two-stage operative treatment for patients with super-obesity, BMI more than 60. Currently, it is utilized as a primary single-stage operation. It does not result in any protein or calorie malabsorption. It can achieve three-year diabetes remission in around 50% of patients and 50-60% to of excess weight loss above normal BMI in three years. Patients with long-standing severe gastroesophageal reflux disease are not the good candidates for sleeve gastrectomy as GERD is worsened by the anatomic configuration of sleeve gastrectomy. Barrett's esophagus is also a contraindication of performing sleeve gastrectomy, and patients having Barrett's disease of esophagus should not undergo sleeve gastrectomy as there is potential for future dysplasia of esophagus and such patients should have an intact functioning stomach. Moreover, in patients with Barrett's esophagus, stomach should be preserved for any future esophageal reconstruction that may be required in patients with Barrett's who are at risk of developing esophageal cancer.